What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another experiment. This is kind of similar to something we've done in the past for like, oh, how much does a fullback matter or whatever. But I actually want to know the difference between just having a bad fullback, maybe even the worst fullback of all time, and having the best blocking fullback to ever do it would compare mainly normally these you know some of these uh, experiments are like who cares what's gonna like why this is obviously a filler video because you have no ideas but this one actually matters because for me whenever we do like a a rebuild where there's a team with a fullback the majority of the time the only time i'll sign a guy is if i think the team in real life will sign them as far as me myself and i i normally just go for some random backup but now we get to see does it actually matter, especially if you're running a team that likes to run the ball a lot? Of course, Wellman, <laughs> good old Elijah Wellman, we have as a, a he's not good. He's he's not good at all. Uh, his his blocking is bad, but apparently he still has finesse for both. I'll fix that in a second. He's gonna be one finesse for everything. So we're gonna see how the pass offense plays and how the uh, what is it called the run game plays. And then we're going to compare it to Lorenzo Neal, who is quite the opposite. Some would say the best blocking fullback in the history of the game. I believe he actually is a candidate for Hall of Fame this year. Or was it last year? I don't even know, but probably deserves to be there. You know, there was a pretty solid Chargers team that you know, he was a big part of. I think it makes a lot of sense. So let's find out with the Niners scheme. Will having Lorenzo Neal make any bit of uh, a change or will it just be hey you got a fullback that's expensive yeet them off the team i'm also going to run a few plays myself to see how you know how much of a difference it actually pay uh plays so uh the cardinals we're gonna play the cardinals in both games uh on both teams you already see that the record's not super great here i don't know what the the what is it called might be on all pro, all Madden. I'm not sure, but let's take a look at what it's like to run a couple of heavy running plays with a lead fullback with a 20 overall, and then let's see what it's like with Lorenzo Neal. Hopefully, we see a difference, right? Do they actually like we always say, it, but like, do teams actually have fireworks on indoor stadiums? Like, that seems very dangerous. No, look, Wellman. Let's follow him. He's lot. He's he's he doesn't know where he is. Kind of a charge he leads. I mean, he picked the block up perfectly there. I'm just going to be honest. He he picked it up perfectly with his one blocking. Let's take this to the outside. Let's see what he can do on a, a proper lead. Uh, I will admit... Oh, my Lord. Did you see the running there by us? I will admit, pretty bad there. But he may have had to go against Chandler Jones, which is kind of an unfair uh, comparison. Let's go to left side now. Wellman to the outside. Uh, I mean, for the most part, he missed completely. He And the worst part is, it's not as simple as him just, like, leaving the play. He actually runs out there proper, and then he just doesn't block anyone. So it's just like, you believe in him. So, so what I'm noticing so far is he does not hold a block long and all, but he is taking the angles all right, especially considering it's Madden. You know, you can't even tell if this is because of his overall or because the game is just the game. Uh, fourth and inches, you know it's a run. Can your lead fullback make a block? He completely misses, but Mostert runs a guy over. Let's take a look at this one. Kind of happened fast. Yeah, like I was about to say, kind of happened fast. I couldn't tell if he was already past the guy that got beat. Yeah, that, there's not really much he could have done there, but, you know, better than what he, he could have done better than what he did, I suppose. All right, coming from the right side now, Wellman. Let's see what he can do. Uh, he gets out in front. So yeah, that's the big thing I'm noticing. He's still taking good angles, but his uh, his blockability, he's not holding the, the guy that much. So just based off of what I'm seeing right now, I'm thinking you don't really need a good fullback because he's going after the guy even with zero awareness, basically, and one pass blocking, and yet he's still taking the right lanes. He's going after the right people. He's just not able to hold the block long. So you got to think uh, in that scenario... If he just had even 50s or 60s, he'd be able to hold the block at least long enough to, for you to get by. So, as far as, you know, does like a 60 overall matter compared to like a 75? I'm thinking probably not. You know, he like, he took that pass. You know, he, he did about as well as a fullback normally would. 
But I, I guess we'll have to see Lorenzo Neal and see if he, you know, absolutely just kills it. I mean, on this play, you can't really ask for much. He's not super fast. You know, probably let him go a little bit longer there, but he still got him, right? It's just an insta-shed, but he still gets there. Once again, the fullback, I mean, I think he did the right job. I just think the other guys messed up because he went right to the like, the closest guy, uh, you know, with who was going to get to us untouched, which would have been the safety. Maybe you should slow down to block somebody else that might break off, but... Okay, you can see there he kind of messed up. Yeah, I want to I wanna see what Lorenzo Neal's like. Because, I mean, looking at that, that wasn't bad for one awareness and one blocking. All right, the Niners. 7-9. Uh, <laughs> and nine. EA just hates the Niners. Like, it, maybe in real life they're struggling for other reasons, but in this situation, you know... Uh, so as far as the Niners' rush attack goes... It looks kind of bad, right? Like, they're barely averaging over four with a line like this and whatnot. So, uh, we'll take down some of these numbers and see how they compare. As far as blocking goes, it's 12, 16, 19, 21 sacks allowed. With the 27th ranked offense. And that's 26th, by the way. So, as far as rushing yards go, the Niners were very, very low on the list. Like, bottom 10. And, of course, because we need a little bit more time to fill the video in, I mean, we want to look at the Super Bowl results. Uh, we'll take a look at the Super Bowl. Who is it going to be? The Cardinals represent the NFC. Oh, okay. That's strange. Also, I didn't mention it, but maybe think about liking and subscribing. But most importantly, we will have a stream tonight, unless I decide to uh, scam everyone again. But, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have a rebuild stream tonight. What team? I do not know. Maybe one of the, like, good Sunday games. I'm not sure. But here we are in the San Francisco 49ers franchise. We put him at... Oh, his face looks scary. Put him at Superstar X Factor. I don't care about the age. You can get it. We took... Uh, ooh, we should change his abilities. Nasty streak. Backfield mismatch. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. We could maybe change his abilities. Yeah, we'll change his abilities. But Lorenzo Neal, basically a fullback that should be playing linemen uh these are the ratings we gave him pretty fair stuff i think uh you know really really good maybe a little too high for pass blocking but and run blocking but very solid run blocker 99 overall you get the gist he's a monster let's try to get to that uh cardinals game again and see what the blocking is like with the exact same slider that didn't ch touch anything in either league so we'll see what neil is like if he takes better angles if he you know he should in theory block better right the exact same scoreline. 7-7 seven and seven for both teams. Nice. The weather seems, you know, the same. There's no snow sneaking in in Arizona over the top. All right, here we go. They're bringing everyone to that side, so let's move them over. In theory, we should have them burned here. Neal to the outside. Picks up his block perfectly. Takes the guy down, Ethan. Maybe not the greatest running by us, but overall, blocking-wise, a lot better than Wellman. We block again. Lorenzo went after the first guy he saw, and he took care of him. We just didn't get much blocking on the inside. All right, Neil up the middle. Uh, he kind of got beat on that one. Didn't really get the look we wanted. All right, they've got the heavy formation, but we're trusting the fullback again. And he leads the charge. We are gone. That was a perfect, perfect block from Lorenzo Neal, and it set us free. All right, to the outside, you have Kittle also playing a part. Hopefully, Kittle goes for Chandler, so then Lorenzo has a, a bit of an easier task on his hands. Lorenzo is playing outstandingly right now, and Mostert's going to score. I'm telling you, the exact same sliders and everything. Lorenzo Neal is taking the proper lanes, and of course, because of his... Uh, we will leave, of course, just so we don't have the inflated stat line as well, but Lorenzo Neal is just blocking perfectly there. But I will admit the main goal of this video, for me at least, is to test Sim as far as, you know, well, Sim. <laughs> to test Sim, simply put. All right, Lorenzo to the outside. Is he going to make any bad decisions? Uh, it took him a little longer to get out there. Maybe he should have went to the outside and, you know, led properly. But I suppose the, the play is kind of to take it in between the guard and the tackle, I suppose. Inside, Lorenzo. Uh, I mean, he kind of went off on his own thing. That was kind of an iffy decision by him. You know, we played pretty central there. Super heavy on the left side now. I mean, this is pretty much a one-on-one -on -one for Lorenzo. 
Uh, I mean, I guess if you're trying to, on third and five, I don't know if that's actually a factor or if it was just coincidence, but Lorenzo was more or less trying to guarantee a first down, which we kind of choked on a little bit. Too busy actually watching Lorenzo than running behind his blocks. Yeah, but he helped the perimeter there. I'm watching him. He, he's absolutely just upended the guy. We could have followed him, but we decided not to. To the outside. He's going deep. And he obviously takes care of the job. Yeah, as a pure blocker, I would say he's quite a bit better than Wellman. But I will say Wellman did really well, man. Let's see. He's taking the outside. I'm not as bad. That is mad. And oh, my Lord. How does EA... How do they... Forget the experiment... How does EA even have the exclusive rights? Like, how? How is that ever a play a 99 overall fullback should make? He has the easy lead, and because of angles, you could maybe even argue that he most scores here. He blocks 34, 32 might get caught up, especially if Neil attacks him rather than waits. But he's got to go for him right here. Even here, maybe he can get him last second, but right here, like that is bad, especially out in the open field. Lorenzo going deep again, picks him up, and that will be a score. So Lorenzo Neal, outside of EA's terrible coding, is quite a bit better than Wellman, I will admit. But the real question is, will it show up in the sim stats? And you can see here, I mean, maybe I should have even forced one the same amount of games, but I didn't need to. Because we got freaking 7 for 7. We might get a 7 to 9 record back to back. And then they surprisingly take on the Seahawks and win. And they make it to the playoffs. That is an unexpected result. As far as passing goes, almost the exact duplicate stat line. Three more yards, the exact same touchdowns and interceptions. As far as rushing goes... Uh, last one was 987, 10 touchdowns, 4.3. This one's 1,069 yards, 4.0 with nine touchdowns. As far as the backup goes, uh, same yards per carry, two less touchdowns, but about 100 yards more. So it's definitely 100%, without a doubt, obvious to say that fullbacks just do not matter in sim. 23 sacks allowed versus 21 last season. I mean, maybe less yards, maybe more yards, but less yards per carry. It just doesn't matter, though. Looking at the yards, I actually put down the number. Uh, this yards was about 300 more, but that can be attributed just to circumstance. You know, you extend a few extra drives, you get a couple more yards. A 99 overall fullback a, uh, with a heavy, you know, run team versus a 20 overall should not only be 300 yards, and even if it is, the yards per carry should be miles better. Miles better. I mean, this is just, like, that's just, it just proves it. I mean, it was almost the exact same rep replica season. The only difference is this team won two more games, so you can attribute that to just higher scoring games in general. You know, the defense playing worse. Uh, they did make the playoffs, but they, of course, choked it away almost immediately. And the uh, Super Bowl, a little bit more of a respectable one, kind of. Uh, the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. That would be a bit of a shocker to most of us. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. If there's any other uh, experiments like this you'd like to see, like does a tight end matter, uh, certain O-line positions, kicker, punter, let me know in the comment section below. But ultimately, that is going to be the fill. I mean, experiment video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And once again, stream uh, sometime tonight, maybe 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, some sort of rebuild on Twitch.tv slash Care. Of course, we will have another Rams Online uh, episode today, so kind of pumping that one out lately. And then I think Friday we'll have uh, a Washington vid and then a Washington stream on twitch.tv but yeah anyways thanks for watching hope you guys come back for next video but until next video see ya